Hello and welcome to Nigeria's Geeking House podcast. Today, after finishing serving their probation, two reward guests have been allowed back into the cast. Uh, so I'll let them say their greetings and apologies first of all. Kex, how does it feel to be let back in? It's you that will be a wayward guest. <laughs> you have a distinguished, distinguished co-host. <laughs> Glad to be back. Glad to be back. Yes, I, 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 I was away last week, and you had that were just spewing nonsense, <laughs> talking about the Gen V best episode four point five four. I was like, ah, 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 ah. I was rolling, but uh, I'm, I'm back now. So sanity has returned. Mm. What did you think of that first apology last week? It was lovely. I played it like three times. <laughs> I played it like I don't think I've ever seen the guy humble. I've never seen the guy humble like that before. <laughs> no, it was, was glorious. The post book, and I listened. Mm. Uh, read the regular. Read the regular. How are you doing? Uh, yeah, I'll take. I'll take. I'll take your way of saying you missed me. Um, I know mm. and it's hard for you as a Snyder fan, as a DC guy. <laughs> <clears throat> but I'm here. I didn't miss you. I, I didn't miss you, but it's okay. Uh, okay. <laughs> Welcome back. And yeah. that for our cha- distinguished chairman. How are you doing? Oh, uh, thank you today. Uh, yeah, what I like sure. about it is that at least I can rely on you. You are regular, you're responsible, you turn up on time. You know, so it's just by his vitriol and his bias. His hate, his bias. You he, know, show up. Mm-hmm. And, and he was there and he, he held my hands while I was making my heartfelt appearance <laughs> last week. You know, but yeah, yeah. It, it's, it's, it's nice to have a full house. Let's just hope these guys do not condemn or upset somebody again, trigger a whole crowd, and we'll have to find them again. Yes, <laughs> I'm taking bets. So always going to be the first to trigger somebody with the list of topics we have talking about. <laughs> there, there's, one, there, there's one here I can see already that will cause problems. Okay. I'll, I'll, yeah. I'll let you the. So we, we, I think we've got a big news section today, right? A very big news section. But before we go forward, we need to pay homage, take a moment of silence for the legendary artist writer Keith Giffen, who yeah. passed away last week, shortly before New York Comic Con. So yeah. yeah. Another, another great spicy dust, and this just shows how old I'm getting. Because when all your heroes start dropping by flies, it's an indication on yourself as well that you know you're getting to that age. Keith, for me, there's two main comic runs I always remember him from. The one that everybody always mentions is the Justice League. It's Justice League run. Justice League, yeah. Yeah, but for me, I loved it when he when he did the Legion of Superheroes, like a adult, more gritty version. It was one of my favorite, you know, versions of Justice League of uh, Justice League Legion of Superheroes. But yeah, he's a great, he's a great guy, a legend of the industry. You know, he'll be missed. Absolutely. He will be missed. Yeah. yeah. No. Um. Yeah. When when I heard it as well, I was I was quite. Um, I don't know whether to say sad, but I I felt very nostalgic because I do remember his uh, his his Justice League run, um, and that was the definitive. Uh, sorry. Uh, um. Yeah, Justice League, and that was the definitive kind of Justice League. Uh, art that I had in my head, even his, even his um, legion, legion of of superheroes. I do remember his um, shrinking violet, like that, like lightning lad, like those characters just come to mind. And that was like a really, I was really young then. And uh, yeah, he will be missed. He's, he, if you don't know, who, like uh, one of his most iconic covers is that one where the jail, the the jail team is looking up. And you have Mr. Miracle and Booster Gold and Guy Gardner and stuff. It's, um, yeah, he's he's one of the ones who's, who's who started comic books for me. And uh, yes, he will be missed. And to what that was said, you know, it's you know you are getting older when the people you grew up with or you know they start passing on, and you're like, okay, you know, even like it's even the same with football. Like you you see a yeah. young Fabriga start off, and then you hear that he's retired, and you're like, how? I mean. I remember yeah. his like first like, game. Now, 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 when did he start? You know, now, now, yeah. when did he start? Yeah. It, it yeah. happens a lot like, now. I, I um, remember, I remember his signing quite like, yeah. vividly. You know, and 
one minute they're here and next minute you know they've retired and so um yeah i mean may god give his family the the fortitude to carry on yeah and you guys saw the facebook message you gave <laughs> Yeah. It's posthumous Facebook message that was actually very hilarious and that, that, that was that, that was funny. That, was that makes funny. it that makes it that was class. That, that makes it sort of easier to to take. Like yes. if he's yeah. not yes. taking himself that serious. Yeah, so yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I remember. Mean, it, it, yeah. Go ahead. No, you were saying something. No, I was going to say I remember him from Omega Men and Legend of Superheroes. Right. Okay. Yeah. 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 I think. Comic writers try to write comedy, but few are actually as good as yeah. what he has done in, in terms of in certain funny stuff inside the comic book. It's usually not very funny coming from a lot of writers, but it does it very well with some emotional balance as well to it. So, I mean, yeah. to be honest, it, he, he brought humor to a comic that was never had humor in it, the Justice League. And he did it in such a way that it, it was a massive hit. I, I came on the, on, you know, understate how big a hit his Justice League was, despite it being like almost like a comedy book, you know, yeah. to a certain degree. He did it very well. Yeah. I, I uh, forgot that he's the one who created Blue Bluetooth. I totally yeah. forgot that. So, so did he see his So I, I guess he saw, he was able to see the movie before he passed on. I hope so. I definitely, I hope so. Yeah. Um, I think, Kex, are you... Your moot. I, I was saying that I was saying that he 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 would have seen the movie, I assume, but you know that's not Ted Cord. That's Jaime Reyes. So he yeah, created yeah, yeah, Ted, yeah, 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 right? Yeah. yeah. So yeah, yes, yeah, Ted Cord, yes. No, it's also no, it's a co-creator for Jaime as well. For Jaime as well. Jaime yeah, Lobo yeah. Rocket Raccoon, yeah. So he's also oh, yeah. a co-creator for Ro that. Rocket yeah. Raccoon, yes. Yes. yes, yeah. I think you guys have mentioned these classic books, but one of the books I actually enjoyed from him is the La Fleas run, twelve issues, almost often forgotten run in what's New Fifty Two. La Fleas, the the Great Lantern. Oh, the Lantern. Yeah. Yeah. Orange Lantern. Okay. Orange Lantern. Yeah, he did a very small comedic run of it, like yeah, very interesting. Right. Yeah, with his butler and everything, and him trying to track down. Yeah. Yes, yes. We, we had this cave with all this stuff in the big cave. Yes, yeah, exactly. I, I, I forgot about that. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, like uh, it's it's an honor to have read this book. These are the kind of people that define comics for us. Going off yep. and made us want to read comics. So yes, yeah. He's, he's, he's the guy for anybody who remembers the One Punch scene where Batman knocked out the guy <laughs> guy with One Punch. Even though he's the one that, that, that scene hurt me to the bottom of my soul. But it's still a classic moment in comics. Yes. Okay. Uh, moving on. So yep. we have a couple of controversial news updates and then New York Comic Con. So I'll kick off with the controversial news, basically, like the, starting off with Daredevil. What do you guys think of that? So apparently there have been some firings, scripts have been changed up and down. Any thoughts? Right. I I want to tie this to some, some something else I read somewhere else. And then yeah. this, this this came out. So apparently there's been a shift in the way DC uh, DC Marvel mm. wants to run their shows going forward. Now now I did not know this, but apparently a lot of the TV shows did not have showrunners. What? Yes, they, they brought in people from the executives who work in Marvel to oversee them, but not of, in the proper showrunners. Um, and yes, we're going. I said that would have a lot. <laughs> no, I kind of disagree because we okay. always knew major names attached to these TV shows. Like yeah, for but, yeah, this yeah. one, Winter Soldier, we need to suck man for. Lucky, we did oh, this woman that... was it was Gao or something. It was the yeah, Asian, but, yeah. Asian lady. Yeah, but apparently they, they, they are writers. And uh, actually, yes. not actual so producers. Writers, yeah, but the producers who like children were not service people. They were just pure execs. Okay. And they so what is apparently what they want to do now is bring in a show a proper showrunner, who I guess will work more in step with the writers to decide. Now, I, I read that news a week before, and then I had this news a week later about 
the upheaval at the so theor level. theoretically what you're saying is it sh that should <clears throat> lead to an imp improvement in quality now now uh, now now theoretically yes but yeah. it actually gets me more worried i thought that it was well progressed to a certain degree already that was my belief so yeah. I, I i i'm a bit puzzled and, the, and it, was, it was a mass firing wasn't it, it was it was a mass shift of all of, almost like all the staff it's not like one or two people yeah and even though major plots are being changed the tone yes. of the show is being moved from a procedural lawyer based show yeah. to action every show i call it some descriptions more in line with yeah. the netflix tv show so i'm not sure how that's going do to we, play do we know what arc they're going for it's still supposed to be born again, born again. at least okay. But we don't know what they're doing. Yeah. So I'm not yeah. here. Yeah, so yeah, honestly, I don't know if it's, if it's good news or bad news, if I'm being honest. I don't know what it means at all. <laughs> when, when, when is it supposed, when, when, when was the um, scheduled release date, initial release date? To I, for, I thought it was next year, sometime. So towards the end of next year. So this is not, this is not good if they're doing it now. So we're looking at either being pushed out or getting something mediocre. If they still do, do, do we know if they even started filming at all? I think they have. Because yes. some didn't we see yeah. something about a um a costume, a, an old style costume some time ago? Oh, yeah. no, we saw a costume. We saw it. Yeah, it's, it's, yeah. It's, it's yeah. The, the, the old the yellow the yellow one. Yeah, they, yeah. They started oh, filming. They started filming. See, yeah. Yeah, I can see some scenes, uh some right, stills right. of them yeah. of, of them filming. They've started, yeah, yep, yeah, yeah, some yeah, so, so it just can, says 2024 20, here. Yeah. So I wouldn't <laughs> we're, believe it's quick, but we're, I don't have a great we're not, we're not, We're in October. <laughs> we're in 2024. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> we're in 2024 already. <laughs> it's just the shared number of 18 episodes is still so problematic. It's still boggling to me, yeah. So I don't. Um, I don't have a lot of faith in this particular TV show. Yeah. I've never had faith in this show since it was announced. And even this doesn't help me. It makes it worse. Yeah. Yeah, because... no, this, this makes it more, more uneasy. I'm, I'm yeah. very uneasy about it now. Yes, I think I'll, as much as I didn't like the 18 episodes, I think the procedural style for me would have been a lot better than this action oriented <laughs> theater for Yes, personally, yes. I, 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 I mean slightly more that I, I wanted more procedural lawyer stuff. Because my one slight complaint about the Netflix was. There was not a lot of lawyery stuff, personally, I felt, for a character as a lawyer. But again, I don't know. I really don't know. Uh, for me, I, I'm more, give me 60% action, 40% lawyer stuff. Maybe even 70% action. Um, I don't know how you can sustain. 80% lawyer is, is good enough for me. Yeah. The, yeah. the Netflix one was like 5% lawyer. Yeah, he was, was barely. All, all yeah. Was yeah. barely. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Was there actually a law case in the actual in that one? There was one. Yeah, was I can't one. remember. And, and it was caught, and, and even that could, it, it even would finish the case go for all same minutes. I think the lawyer in there was actually done by Foggy. Yeah, 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 so, yeah. yeah, yeah. Foggy was yeah. the lawyer. He was just exactly. a punchy bag. Okay. okay. Well, <laughs> twenty twenty four. We'll see. Moving, moving on to Aquaman two drama. <laughs> the writer released an article detailing a lot of issues on set, complaints from Amber Head that she's being caught for movies of hostility by the cast and crew of the movie. Uh, Jason Momoa apparently dressing up like Johnny Depp to set, which ignores that his actual dressing style, but okay. Uh, complaints that the director is concerned about the movie and everything. It's very interesting. Is it the same what news that Elon, Elon wrote a nasty gram? Yeah. Like, uh, yes, he must so. have dropped that guy as a kid on his head. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, Several like... times. Um, I, I, have, I have zero sympathy for Amber Heard. Um, I, 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 like I was saying, I would, if I were the director, I would... Oh, cuts, cuts. I, I, would, I, I would let her film and waste her time. And then cut every scene she's in, except for her voices. 
<laughs> you know, just for the sake of that. So you that know, that's invite, probably, no, let her, her invite her family. Then, then they reference her. Just reference yes, her. Yes, reference her. Let her invite, her, she, invite her family the, at, the, to the, the way, premiere. The way Superman why, reference why her. Why such wickedness? No, like, so, is it with the entitlement of, oh, he's dressing like Johnny. But this is this guy's been wearing hats and stuff for ages. And rings yeah. and... And, I don't, and, I don't, and wristbands I don't. and all that rubbish. Kex, let him judge the judge dead. That's our problem. <laughs> to be fair, yeah, there's okay. there's no there's no rule or, or law against it. Actually, yeah, he can dress like anybody he wants to dress like. Something I, like so... this, this, this news makes me smile, makes me laugh. I have. No I mean, Johnny I'm... Depp was dropped, literally yeah. dropped yeah. by Warner Brothers, because not of, just yes. on, on 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 the on pirates, uh, yeah, on pirates, on, on Brothers, pirates, Disney, on everybody. On, yeah. What's that Gov Rubinsky? Uh, no, Gov Rubinsky, that Chris Columbus wizardy one that they're always doing, Harry Potter, whatever. Oh, Fantastic yeah. Beast. For Great, Beast. Great, Great, in the world or something, wasn't it? Yeah. He, no, Fantastic Beast. Yeah, Fantastic Beast, yeah. 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 I, I mean, so what is she talking about? Well, yes, it did, though. Yes, it did. Yeah. Uh, I can actually, uh, 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 I can uh, uh, actually, uh, uh, <laughs> let me change this now. I, I like, it. like, Everything she's saying, it's actually very plausible. I, I, hope, it, I hope it happens. <laughs> what are you talking about? I hope it's very true. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are on the Avengers kick like this. I don't, <laughs> no, but, no, 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 no. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not even disbelieve it. I don't, I don't think uh, it did happen. Oh, so you don't even disbelieve it? No, I don't think she's going to believe it. Yeah. Uh, okay. And because then, Elon Musk, if Musk, I'm a director and I have to direct and release a film that the studio hopes makes money or does well, a movie that is clearly expensive yeah. and something that I'm passionate about. I, I mean, I'm, it's going to suffer because of Amber Heard. So, so is yeah. is the movie still is still is it still on track or are they pushed out the road? Oh, it, no, it's on track no, for December. December. They can't push December. it out now. December. Okay. December. It's too late for that. Yeah. So another for that. another 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 flop loading for DC. Yeah, you know what? It, it, it's it, it's it, my it, surprise. It's very it, it, relaxed. No, it, 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 it might be <laughs> the most successful movie this year. Well, okay, so let's. You mean ahead of Shazam? No, 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 Contextually, that's a very low bar. Yeah, of course. Yeah, of course. Yeah. And the way it's going, the way it might happen now, it's now flopped below those movies. Like, I'm going to hold my beer. You want to see? No. Wait, wait, come on, come on, come on. Christmas, it's Christmas, right? Yes. It's Christmas. It's Christmas. And, and there's no, there's no other film near it that's big, correct? What, what else we have for Christmas period? Um, Willy Wonka or Wonka or whatever. No. Yeah, and that's good. going to, that's going to be a good movie. Willy I Wonka bet you, good movie. it's going to be a surprise hit. You think yeah. it's going to be a surprise? Yeah, hit. Wonka is going to be a hit. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I, I, I truly good, believe yeah. so. That's going to be a, a generational uh, nostalgic. Robert. Yeah, yeah, and, and it genuinely uh, looks uh, like a really good movie. It looks, it looks honestly. I actually like the look of it. Um, okay. So it, it it should make money. It should make money, but I think it's also quite expensive. Well, I'm talking about Aquaman. I mean, sorry, oh, yes. Aquaman. Yeah. I think it's also expensive because of the delays, the reshoots, the time, the pushing. Yeah. Uh, I, I, well, I, I, yeah. Go on. I, I personally want this film. I want this film to come out. And let's move on. Yeah, let's move on. I want to be back. successful, though. I really want to be successful. Can, can I ask you why? <laughs> what? I liked the first movie. Okay. And by it or notwithstanding, like, I, I've seen the trailer for this movie and I'm looking love forward to this particular I love the first one. Okay. The trailer for this movie actually made me hyped for this film. So I'm hoping that it's actually successful. But we'll see. I'm, t- yeah. I'm totally mad for this. Okay. Let's see how that goes. But yeah, December 2023, we are looking forward to that with DC. 23rd, and... okay. No, I'm not saying the year. I don't care when the day is coming out. But December 20, all... 2023, okay. Yeah, it's all good for that one. Now, moving on. Uh, still on that news, I mean, they're writing that same article confirmed that um, what Jason Mamoa would be playing Lobo. I mean, this is something that I've been going at as almost ever since this day. Don't and Jason Gone, I mean, Gone just basically came to announce that all the characters are not, all the Justice League 
characters are not playing the same characters going forward. It basically announced that um, Gal Gadot is no longer Wonder Woman in his own fashion. Yeah, yeah. But, but she, said, but she still has a she still has a home in DC at DC. Which one? Something else. Oh, we don't like. <laughs> I don't understand. <laughs> Man said, "Which home?" <laughs> <laughs> If if, if, <laughs> if Momoa is transitioning to um, Lobo, Lobo, maybe she can play Goddess Athena and show up in the cameo in the Paradise Lost TV or Hera or something like that. Yeah. Just show up in the background. Or, 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 or play Power Princess in if they forgot about the or something. Shit any like plans that. for any plans for anything in New Gods or something? Do you know? Uh, no, not yet. At least for this. First batch of movies. There's no new gods plan yet. To me, as um, this is Momoa as Lobo. It's a kind of casting. Oh, it's I expect perfect. because yeah. it's perfect. It's on point. It's perfect. to me, Momoa was never Aquaman. That to me, that was bad casting. Even though he, 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 the roles now made his. I mean, obviously, people who, who don't care about the comics to them. I mean, Momoa he killed is it. Aquaman. Yeah, yeah. Was, okay. But for me, you never was Aquaman. He killed it, good or bad. Yeah. What do you mean he killed it? No, like it, it delivered on that particular role. It made Aqu- for me it's, it's a better version of the character than the dull one in the comics. That is that is that is for me as well. He's yeah. better than yeah. comic book Arthur Curry, he who is very it. boring. Okay. So it, it, yeah, Peter David Aquaman, he wasn't as good as in my view. That's fair. But you know, yeah. But you know, anyway, right. it, 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 I, to be honest, I don't know. He was a big hit. And people like his Aquaman, so uh, yes. But I'll, him being Lobo, I'm totally on board for. Uh, okay. And I hope he's a he's a proper mean Lobo, not a a campy one. I mean, I don't know. You can be mean and campy at the same time. I want a Lobo that is. Can I? No, not campy, yeah. but like I want not a brooding, serious Lobo. I want a Lobo that is joking and tearing up. Oh yeah, yeah, like that kind yeah, of, but, yeah. So he can, That's what Mama can deliver. That's yeah, him. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Can, yeah. can be I, brutal. I, and I, I, bro. I, I want a. I want a. I want a brutal. I, I don't. I don't want a. I don't want a heroic Lobo. At all. Nope. I want a, a Lobo that is more of a... Like, if there's nothing in it for him, he's not getting involved. Yes. But if yeah, there's yeah, a yeah. bounty to be made, then he's yeah, getting yeah. involved. You know, I want that kind of anti no, 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 no conscience. No conscience. Strict, strictly exactly. business. Yeah. Yes. Can, yeah. can you pay me more than my bounty? Okay. Not, that's, I want that. Not, and I think... And I think not, no, no, come to Jesus, not, no come to Jesus moment where he now exactly. goes No, no. <laughs> No. Yeah, that, unless, or, unless, I, unless it's space dolphins, that's it. Okay, so I think that covers our news. Now, going to Comic Con, we have a couple of major news items coming out from there. I will right. start off with Ultimate Universe since we discussed a bit of this in the previous weeks. Spinning off of the recently concluded series by Man, yep. we have three new titles coming up. Ultimate okay. Spider-Man by Hickman himself. We have Ultimate Black Panther by Brian Hill. And then we have Ultimate X-Men by Peach Momoko. So, Ultimate X-Men. You... Interesting. Yes. Let me, ju- so let me just, up... yeah. let me just say I hate the Ultimate Black Panther's costume. It's terrible. Mm-mm. I don't like it at all. Have you guys seen the costume? Uh, yeah, the costume is atrocious, sister. I, I hate it. So, I, 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 I saw the cover. I saw the cover. Yeah. So I'm guessing that, yeah, that's, that's his costume. Yeah, like it's just bad. With the open mouth thing, the uh, very over designed helmet, oh, oh, the oh, white oh, everywhere. It's terrible. Oh, yeah. Oh, he's looking at the, oh, that is he has bad. an open mouth. Oh. Yeah, like. Oh, that, I didn't look at it properly. Yeah. What is this? Oh, you know, I didn't see that at all. I didn't yeah. see that part. Uh, no. It's bad. The what's this thing called? Oh my the god, cons- the boots. Oh my god. Yeah. Look, it looks like it's trying to go for a Batmanish type. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. Regardless, I don't like this. Even the pre- then again, the premise of the entire book, him going against Konshu and Ra who are taking over Africa. Please get the fuck out of here. 
those two stupid the different goals are now going to the entirety of Africa. There's only Black Panther that can fight to stop them because Black Panther and Wakanda didn't realize that they took over the the entirety of the continent before Handabi. See, so I'm just pissed off at the entire premise of that book yeah, okay, and the so disrespect. Yeah, I, I was about to start praising the author because I like Brian Hill a lot. Uh, for, I've followed him for a while before he joined, but you've now just dampened my system. <laughs> <It's tiny. laughs> because I, I didn't realize that was a premise. I've, I've always had a big be my opponent about the way. Marvel seems to think the Egyptian gods are African gods. Yeah, the African gods for Egypt. But sometimes they intrude in areas that shouldn't be, in my mind, in, in, in Marvel comics. So you, you have people in, in your state or in, in your land, and they were talking about Ra. Like the only, the only five yes. gods in the whole of Africa. So yeah, that always used to annoy me. Yes. And even when it, I, I, fine, I, I know in terms of Black Panther, they've established that connection with the Egyptian long time because I know a lot of people call the, the Panther God, the, the, they've called it Bast, Bast. Yeah. related yeah. to yeah. the past. But that also annoyed me because even when they list the tribes that are in Wakanda, no, 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 none of them are linked Egypt, to, yeah. to, to Egypt. Yeah, to Egyptian God. So they're more, they're more Hausa type. Yeah. You got Hausa, you got your back, you got Swahili. Yeah, yeah. I can't remember what the other, there's like three or five tribes that they always say. Song, part of. Hof hopefully, Songo comes and drop kicks Konshu into. Nah, that, see, that, that's into, from the prem into, into from, this, <laughs> from the very stupid premise, it's the lone bulwark against the force known as Ra, as the Moon Knights, Konshu and Ra, the isolated nation of Wakanda, will send for their champion to face this. I mean, it's already setting up these are the only two powerful beings that exist. And it's honestly, this is the most piece it pissed me off and I read the concept. <laughs> yeah. 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 Okay, maybe maybe Brian here wants to want to fall our hand. Like, see, Serious fall in our hand. <laughs> like, you have to do something really magical. Like it has to be extremely good here for me to change my take on what they are writing right now. Yeah. Okay. Any, okay. Any, any talk on the any update on the any thoughts on it? Um well, I don't like the costume at all. I mm -hmm. don't really like the premise either. But if I be completely honest, I don't I like don't the care. ongoing run of Black Panther as well. Um, nobody likes that. I don't like I, I don't like it. So I I I I never I don't have high hopes anyway for this for this yeah I really but don't this, and, this, and, this, and, will, this will this will run along, alongside the other one. Is that no, this is all different universe. universe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. different, different, different universe. universe. Yeah. Yes, yes. So no, I'm just saying that like I'm not I'm not the biggest Black Panther standalone fan. I'll be honest. Um, so I I, I won't. It, it's it's not it's not doing me giz giz or gas gas. I'm just like okay, no, no. I'll try. It. Uh, to be fair, the whole way the way this whole ultimate universe has even restarted, I'm just like Kasha Mao. Yeah, so, it's not exciting. It's not exciting anybody at all. It's not, it's not exciting me at all. Yeah. yeah. The next. Okay, so that's Black Panther. Let's talk about Spider Man, Hitman, and Chia Chia Two. Um. We talk a bit about is this. this. Is this Peter Parker? We don't know. Yeah, I don't think it's Peter Parker. Oh, yeah. Why? why I not? don't know why. I don't know oh, why. Okay, 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 okay. I don't know the why. Because, cool... because the, the maker accepted the spider in that universe that he created. Correct. The first one, yes. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, but it could this is another universe or could be another universe. Well he was or, universe hop he was universe hopping so he could have he might have No, it's not the same it's not the same universe that he intercepted the spider. Yeah okay. it is. It's so, the same universe. Yeah it is. What he said the only clue he gave is that it's a bit of a Peter B. Parker situation. That's the only thing he said. A bit of a what? Okay. Peter B. Parker. Peter B. Parker. That's the Spider Man from the movie. Uh, it's the Spider Verse. It's the Spider Verse. Yes. Movie, the, one, yeah. the, one that, the one that died. 
Yes, yes. the blonde. Hmm. So that's the only clue he's given. But again, I don't know. I'm not sure how people felt when the Ultimate Universe first came out, but this thing is not giving me the excitement I felt when I wanted to start reading those books. I don't know. It's just not that, 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 That's because you have grown old and dated. <laughs> and, 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 and bitter. <laughs> Fair enough. But I'm saying if you were releasing those books now, I would be excited for those books more than I'm excited right now. That I'm excited for this ones. I'm not excited. So I can I can yeah. I can yeah, that's for free. I mean um, this is this is a I'm, hitman book, and yet I'm kind of not too I'm, sure. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. And then lastly, we have Ultimate X Men. Can I see, can I can I make is, a confession? Here about yes. Spider Man. <clears throat> it's been a while since I've enjoyed the Spider Man book. Um, when was, was the last time you not... enjoyed it? <laughs> to be fair, the last time I enjoyed it was like this John Romita Jr. one that he's doing. There was a there was a whole thing with Tombstone that I liked. But oh, okay, okay. <sighs> when was the last time I I could go to bat for a Spider Man? Like I, I'm reading this recent one with uh with um, you know Gold Goblin as he likes to be called. Um, yeah. What's his name? Osborne, uh, Norman Osborne, and 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 Craven, and I'm like, I and I finished it, and I felt nothing, and it was the end of like one kind of big gangestic fight, you know, and even the superior Spider-Man with with Doctor Octopus coming back, I'm like, it's been a while since I've enjoyed Spider-Man, guys. I, I don't, um, I I hope Hickman brings me back to what I used to love about this character, but I, I think we can do it. We can do it, but I I just question. Are we so okay? So, so on a general, on, on, a, on a general vibe, yes, general yeah. vibe outside of Blade, which is not a book that's been written too many times in recent past, uh, mm. recent times, yes. What book or what, what comic book hero who's had a consistent storyline would you say is having a good run right now? Nightwing. Yes, nice. Nightwing. Yes. Nightwing. So okay. Nightwing. Yeah. yeah the X Men before this. So I think most of these Nightwing. things they just need to change the storytelling. Like, that, that's what I'm, that's where I'm going. Is there is there is there something about the formula that is getting tired and played out that when that is just not exciting us anymore? Yeah, like we see Spider Man so far every day. So far, Head Chronicles of Spider Man is not longer interesting because we've <laughs> so seen him go through so far, Head Chronicles. We've seen him go through every kind of pain imaginable. Yeah. We've seen him go through every kind of loss imaginable. Evolve your storytelling. Let him take on different challenges. Like our the superhero for nowadays should not just be about punching the street because we already have problems with people punching punching down. It should be about solving bigger problems, like actual issues. But comic books are being restricted to that particular dynamic where it's just uh, you are punching the bad guy for the week. Is it not a time that Spider-Man has a kid? He's had a kid and they've deleted the kid. Yeah, I'm I mean, like, I mean yeah. they bring that back. The, the guy, even in comic time, the guy's old already. Yeah. You know, what's he doing? If, 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 if Ray J is not agreeing for him, let him go and do Black Hats. I even want to buy Black Hats and get it. Yeah, but you know that he was with Black Hats and they should broke up. They, you know, they dated this yeah, year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. he couldn't make it work because he's an idiot. Like he, <laughs> like that. Why I keep telling you, like ah, no, he's the greatest of us all. Fuck off. So, the, so the, 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 the formula needs to change. The story needs to change. The, yeah, like yeah, the formula really, really needs to change. And the problem is, they still keep on resetting back to the old formulas. We've seen them do yes. different. Like Spider-Man has had kids before. We've had a run with him with his children. But they keep resetting back to this tired broke. old storytelling. Yeah, yeah broke, broke, like struggling, bastard. Yeah. Out. Wife doesn't have wife, has wife. Nobody <laughs> trusts him in New York. The Avengers don't really trust him. He doesn't really trust them enough to say, okay, guys, I need help. It's a bit tired. And today, to your point about Nightwing, I think part of the appeal of Nightwing is 
there's also no really big overarching story going on like one gang you can pick up a nightwing book read it and enjoy it and that's Simple. what i'm saying but so nightwing um, also had a lull it's not like he was he, he hasn't yeah, been consistently it, it, written it, it, it's it's a simple it's almost a day in life a lot of the time it's like a day in life of nightwing which is interesting enough and the art helps it along you know it, the others always try to do like, something, whether like, it's Wolverine, no, but it's not, it's not about or, the day, no, it's not about the day in life. Or, or... Okay, I would argue it's not it's about what it's actually doing, it's not just punching bad guys. Like the core premise of the book is like, oh, I'm trying to help my cities in no, in a novel way than we've seen they're before. Not, in they're not, they are not, there are not a lot of people that ain't know that, and that only comes up maybe once in maybe four but, or five issues. <laughs> Okay, fair enough. That's a good point. It's not but like yeah. a steady. So you're checking. You're checking, you're checking, you're checking on this story now. On this thing. No, no. I'm just, I'm just, that's why I stay reading Nightwing book. That's why I like Nightwing book. I'll, ch I'll check it out. The latest yeah. run. Okay. You should. It's a really good one. So, so Blade, spinning Blade off Nightwing. Nightwing. Yeah. Spinning off of that, there's also the Ultimate X Men by Pete Momoko. I'm not sure how many of you know about art. She's apparently really famous for artwork. But this particular book is also not going to be very exciting for me. It's following a young student in Japan that has armor powers and is meeting the new generation of X-Men. I'm like, okay. I, I don't I, care. I like, I like armor. I, I, yeah. I like character. But that doesn't mean that I might, I might, I might like this book. I like that character. Yeah. You, that person that you mentioned is the artist, right? Not the writer. She's a writer and artist. Okay. I didn't yeah. know she wrote, she wrote. Yeah, she's been writing and writing and. Can I, you know, do you know something else she wrote? Can I say something that might, yeah? might sound a little problematic? Well, so uh, the, 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 <laughs> <Go ahead. laughs> the, you know what? Let me let me. You know, my word. Just say, just say. But, <laughs> but you know, you've got Momoko doing a comic book about a Japanese character. You know, and she's clearly, I mean, the 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 artist writer is clearly a Japanese per person of Japanese origin as well. Mm. So they're asking her to do a, a new version of Alma, so to speak, to kickstart the X Men or whatever it sounds like. You know, we've got Brian Hill, who's a black dude who's been asked to do Black Panther. <laughs> You have Hikman, who's a white dude, who's been asked to do, you know, the new... It's just like, I'm, I'm smelling some affirmative action here. It's, it's DEI. Nice. It's oh, a smell. Oh. DEI, so kind of diversity, equality, yeah, and inclusion. It's smelly, guys. But it's that, smelly. That would, that would even annoy me more, because Brian Hill's not even African. We, all black no, he's not, but, but yeah, yeah, but, you know, I, I, I he's think he's black, I mean... No, uh, so come so on. As far as they're concerned, is Wakanda a real African country? But it's African. But it's African. Oh, God. You know, you, you, you that one, 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 I don't Dark know if, you... if you want to argue this and off pants, Black Panther is an American concept. It's yeah. not a, it's not an African concept. It, it was it is a, yes. It's an African concept. It's not an African no, concept. No, 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 that, that is why they did not brought the democracy to Wakanda. Are, are you happy? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> is, is, is democracy still on or they've not? Uh, it's, it's, it's on. No, it's on. It's still on. And it's still nonsense. You know, I stopped, you know, I stopped reading when they started that nonsense. <laughs> for last day, for last day. Yeah, I was going to say for last, for yeah, for last is still the prime minister. She kicked yeah. out. Uh, uh, Tsela. They don't get like they don't get why we like Black Panther in the first place. So yes. So okay. You might be onto something. Yeah, I, I'm just like yeah, <laughs> not giving. To be one. fair, it's almost though. like it's almost like what do you want to do? What have you always wanted to do? Like you know, and then they'll be like, okay, you know, just take this and run with it. And and I'm going to push know. back a bit. I'm going to push back a bit. To be fair, <laughs> if you want to, if you want to write, what's this thing called? If you give white people to write, um, a, uh, other cultural characters, that's how you get Mandarin and FIFA from. That's how you get Jeff Jones thinking the Great Ten is a great idea for Chinese superheroes. So, yeah, but that was that was a while ago. I don't. I, do they really still do that? I mean, do it's still do that? Very, 
let me put it like this. Okay. A bad okay. let me put it like this. A bad a bad writer writing a bad what's the word for this? Diversity writer writing about their culture is a lot more forgivable than a bad white guy writing about course, the culture he doesn't understand. Of course, of course, yeah. Of course, so of course. if you are going to fuck up, if you are going to fuck up something, it's let the person that owns the let put own <laughs> in this thing. So, <laughs> fuck it up. <laughs> but, okay. The same way your auntie, let this point out for <laughs> yes. Now imagine if Auntie was white. Oh Jesus! God. All the vexing you are vexing now, you will vex more. Uh, okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Because and to be fair, like when it when this kind of book they land well, they land really well. Like if you have someone that kind of understands the storytelling and and just not just preaching from their own head. I'm looking at you quotes. They write a book. Mm. It always lands well. So I'm giving but them the benefit is, of the doubt is, is on the, that. Is, is, is the one that started the whole democracy concept now. Huh? Yes, it's the one that did democracy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, it's the one that completely emasculated T'Challa. Yeah. He's begging now. <laughs> uh, he's not forgiven for me, that. Me, 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 the um, a whole bunch of... Um, so, so, so. He, 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 what, what, traitors first? Yep. Then LBGTQ them up the wazoo. Yeah. Then, no, then, 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 it's I understand. I, it's, it's, a, yeah. it's, a, it's an it's an African American fantasy or what fantasy. Africa. So it's okay, but when but when they mess yeah. up yeah. Superman, when yeah. they mess up Superman, yeah. who is an alien here, yeah, you're, you're vexing. Of course, I'll vex now. That's okay. Superman. That's not that's so not don't Black make, So don't make don't make any excuses for Black Panther. No, no. When, what I'm saying is that, see, as an African, I get it why they tailor Wakanda and Black Panther to African Americans and not Africans, even though it's an but, African. So you can you can tell it, but you can still write a good story. So today. What I'm saying is, all this new Americanism is new. It's new. Before, it's new. It, it was Africa, Africa until your your guy came. Quotes. Mm. You know, it's not my like, guy. I I I don't defend quotes for anybody. I think don't don't associate me and that man together, please. <laughs> <laughs> please and please, there's distance there. But yeah, that's the new ultimate universe, and okay. it's up to. I'm saying that's in the ultimate universe. It's up to a very cautious start, which is really disappointing. I was very, so very, excited very, at very, first. Very, very cautious start. A very, very yeah. cautious start. I'm really hoping all these books turn out to be really great, but I'm not holding out any hope, high hopes for okay. them. Okay. Yeah. Great. Uh, he said, ah, wow. Not even good. Mo great. That's a... <laughs> Moving on, Sorry, I on. want to talk out of Ghost Machine, the new company, comic book company, by several artists and writers that we know, Geoff Jones, Gary Frank, Brian Itch, Francis Manopol, we have Tomasi, we have Melza, we have Pabok, ETC, all coming together to form a Power, new... Powerhouse. Yeah. yeah, a lot of Powerhouse is coming together to write a new comic book. I mean, a new Ooh, comic power, book company. Power, power, powerhouse, really? I mean, there are no names in the industry. There are no names in the industry. Yeah. Collect yeah. Co no collectively, yeah. they, collectively. Collectively. Collectively, they I mean, can. I mean, the biggest, the biggest name there is Geoff Jones. Yeah, it is, it is. And I mean, if you want to mention powerhouses in comic books, I think Geoff Jones comes first in terms of industry connections. Connections, but not as a, well, as a writer, I, I think it's... It, it, I know, to me, his biggest name is that lot. The rest are, I mean, I, I, I like Tomasi personally. I like Tomasi a lot. But, yeah. You know, I, I would I wouldn't call him a powerhouse. Even Brad, I don't know what that guy's been doing recently. To be honest, since his, oh. my my, yeah. my last, if you talk about his brand, all I can think of is X Machina. I'm not even sure he's done anything recently, or maybe maybe he has, and I've just not read it yet. You know, okay. Manapo, I beg, he's your grandpa. Now, so, yeah. what is interesting me about is making me interested in this particular comic yeah. is the format they seem to be going for. They've not come out and say this is what they are going for, but based on what they are saying, 
for me, it looks as if they are trying to turn out creator own books and then work with developing them into streaming or movie platforms. Uh, Guy Guy is already going on Paramount TV. That is, it's been up, it's already in development with Paramount TV. And they are, the way they are sectioning their books into universities, like they mentioned four shared universities. One is uh, genre heroes, sci-fi epic, uh, fantastic four time displaced family, that kind of thing, that horror universe, that, those kinds of stories. It seems to me their own, their own, their own, the company itself is built to cater to telling stories that you can sell to TVs easily and make okay. a profit from them because they will be owning all the share from that and it's the profit will go back into the company. Business, it's a business model. Yeah. And so I think it's it, an interesting business model in this day and age. So it's a, it's a shared version of a Miller World type thing? Yes. I'm guessing so. Okay. All right. Yeah. We, we, so, we, watch, we will watch this space. Uh, Kex, you, you know what? Yeah. Um, let's, let's keep watch. Let's keep watching because... You know, everybody comes out with these grand ideas. Hey, we're going to revolutionize this. We're going to do this. And then this is a look, look, this is, and then they'll do your PowerPoint and a TED talk. I'm like, give it yeah. a year. Do you still have the same <laughs> energy? Do, 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 do you know how many things we've been told are coming? How to many things TV? we've been told that are? Ah, La- La- Lazar- Lazar- Lazarus is still coming, right? Lazarus is supposed to come. I mean, if we listen, Sanderson, if we just Sanderson, listen to you. Sanderson is supposed to have his books coming somewhere along the line. <laughs> so, exactly. Yeah, just, uh, exactly. Yeah. So between. Shake doing a handshake, deal, even doing that. Why is that you even doing pre production? You know, before you between where you do all of this, sometimes you just look at it like this is too expensive and and did it. Um, so JJ Abrams has done this to us, Scott Snyder, who has promised us a lot before. So let's just let's just see. Let, 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 yeah, let's see how that goes. From yeah. The first issue, the first what's it called, will be coming out next year. The first official issue, okay. Ghost Machine One, will be introducing all the characters. Ghost Machine Issue One, January twenty twenty four. Okay. Yeah, it will introduce these different universes and all of that together, and we'll see where that goes. So yes, okay. looking, f- we'll read that and review that next year once it comes out. Yeah. Yep, yep. Yeah. Okay. So next, I want to talk about is some announcements from DC about. Elseworld titles that will be coming out next year. And I'll quickly run through a couple of them. The, mo- the one that seems the most interesting is one called um, Gotham by Gaslight, uh, The Kryptonian Age. And the Diggle, who is a writer I actually like, is going to be writing this 12 issue story uh, set in as a sequel to the Gotham by Gaslight uh, one shot. Yeah. And it's going to be expanding the universe, introducing the other heroes as they come together to form the Justice League in that particular time period. So it's the most don't, interesting of that lot, but yeah. I, I'm intrigued, but don't form the Justice League. You don't need to form the Justice League. Like you don't there's what why, why do they all need to come together? <laughs> like, why do we all need to form Voltron? Like there is no dark side, hopefully. You know, now, there's no world ending type thing that we all need to come together for. There is. Uh, okay. Because here's the tagline As they unite against the greatest threat the world has ever known, they will learn of their world's secret Kryptonian history. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, I will okay. read it. I mean, it's 12 issues. I, I, I'm just. Yeah. Yeah. What, what, what are we talking about? I'll run to the next ones quickly because they're not as interesting. Batman the Barbarian. Batman is, it, is it, a Barbarian. Well, like, like Conan the Barbarian. Well, like Conan, yeah. <laughs> Basically, yes. Six issues yeah. miniseries. Um, Dark Knight of Steel, All Winter, sequel to... Uh, such the same one as the Dark... Yeah. Oh. Some Taylor one. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, okay. But yeah. this one is going to be on Deathstroke. You just Deathstroke killing okay. bad guys. Oh, okay. yeah. Okay. okay. And there's I, just. I, I, I lost interest in something. I carry on. There's going to be Green Lantern Dark. A post apocalyptic Earth. Okay, yeah, go on. Only one hero remains, who is wielding the Green Lantern to return light to the Earth 
horror story set in England. So we don't know who we don't know who is going to be wielding the ring. No, we don't. The okay. image looks somewhat like Raven, but I don't know. That's just because the Raven. The, yeah, I don't know because it's just a person wearing a hood, a, a lady wearing a hood, basically. Oh. See, that that one intrig intrigues me a bit, a bit, a bit. Yeah. Okay. There is Batman Nightfire. I honestly do not care about this thing at all. Even the name is annoying. Batman travels to the past to fix tragedy. You should get out. <laughs> <laughs> then, <laughs> finally, DC vs. Vampires World War V. I don't know if you read the original DC, I did, uh, I did. DC vs. I did. Vampires. Yeah, I did. Yeah. I, did. I, did. I, did. I, I, I didn't mind that. It was all right. Yeah, it was all right, yeah. Yeah, I don't care for it, but yeah, this is the this is sequel to that. Yeah, good premise, but I think it kind of tailored, you know, tailored out a bit. But okay, okay. so go on. Yeah, I mean, I think the deceased version, the zombies one, did it better than the vampires one because I didn't care for the vampires one at all. So yeah. Okay. So those are the announcements from Elseworlds, but they also announced something interesting for Superman. I don't know what they are planning to do. It is called Superman All Stars, from January to December 2024. DC will be pairing artists and writers to write mini acts and of Superman stories in the in the action comic book. For example, kicking off with action comics from 1061 to 1063, Jason Aaron will be writing Superman and is going to be writing Bizarro, I Bizarro. I don't know why of all the ideas they could pick for this man to write. <laughs> it's Bizarro they are telling him to come and write. Are you but sure yeah. he didn't pick himself? Ah, I don't know if he picked it himself or if they told him to pick it. I like, I'm tired. I don't know about you guys, but I'm tired of Bizarro. No, I, I, I'm with you. I am with you. I, I don't find, yeah, anytime I see a Bizarro comic, it's like a chore for me to read. Yeah. And then following up, that would be like uh, Joshua Williams, who is the current writer on, action, on Superman comics, will be coming to Action Comics to write Brainiacs, a Brainiacs House of Brainiacs storyline. I will see how we that okay. goes. But I'm actually intrigued yeah. about that one. Yeah. Are you following so, the current run? Of what? Of Joshua Williams in his action comics? Yes, Superman I comics, I mean. Yes, I Is it actually yes, I good? I'm enjoying it. You never liked it. I think you mentioned you didn't like it when the parasite came in. I'm, I'm enjoying it. He's working with um, Lex Luthor's Lex Corp. Lex Luthor oh. basically gifted Lex Corp to him. Yes, so, I hated that. I liked. Yeah. I hated that. I hated that idea. It's I like Lex. It's gonna, it's gonna I like, up in his face. So I'm just watching. Yeah. It, watching what happens? <laughs> I like what's this thing called the parasite arc. Like it yep. felt actually threatening. Same yeah, parasite yeah. multiplied, yeah. all of that. That yeah, was exactly. like a real threat. Yeah. But the yeah. idea of Lex of Lex Corp giving, I mean Lex Luthor giving Lex Corp to Superman, turning to Super Corp and all of that. Yeah. I was yeah. like, nah, this is this is not a good idea. Especially yeah. when in the other book we have Steel starting his own company yeah. and all these super. Works. I'm like, yeah. still yeah. work. I'm like, I don't care for yeah. all of this. We are trying to do Dracula <laughs> without. Without putting in the foundation <laughs> and proper uh, this thing in place. <laughs> okay. So okay. yes, that covers DC news. This is news from this thing. Um, we have the idea of a kickass reboot coming up. Matthew Vaughn talked about this. Are you excited? Or Who's not? reboot? Kickass. No, no, not so. <laughs> no. I, I fell off. I, I fell off the kickass train a while back. Mm -hmm. So I I, I, I watched all all three, three movies. Is it free? I think it was was it three or two? Oh, not comic <laughs> books. You're talking about the live action movie. Yes, two yes. movies. Two movies. Was two movies? Yeah, two. Okay. two movies. I, yes. I enjoyed both the movies personally, but I'm not sure about these reboots because mm. uh, I, I think a, a lot of my enjoyment of those depended on the, was on the actors they used. I think, I think yes. Chloe Moretz as um as um it's girl, girl. Girl. was girl. awesome, awesome. Um, even Aaron, what's his name? Aaron. Aaron Taylor Johnson. Johnson. Aaron Taylor yeah. was great as the cast. Uh, so I'm, I'm 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 a bit cautious. I don't get too excited about this. And, and can they catch the magic 
of the, those first two films. The somebody first somebody one, said they want to do a yeah. series of this. Who was it that said a series? Yeah, I thought, I'm not sure if it was a series or a movie. I, I would I be on very on board with the series. You will? Yeah. I would I, I'll be very on board with the series. Yeah, I think a series would allow them to expand a little bit more into that world um, than a movie. Yeah, because, you know, movies always have this typical, almost formulaic, okay, how the, 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 the hero becomes a hero, you know, origin. what happens, the origin, then the middle yeah. bit where he faces hardship, and then the big climactic battle at the end where yeah. if it's a CG it's fest, they feel it's like it's they have to do like... The end of, it stops the end of the world. <laughs> yeah, so I, I, I think a series would not do that, but it's, it's a... It's it's a property that might you know they can be able to turn it flip it on its head a little bit more. So yeah, I would prefer a series of this. Okay. Let's see how that goes. Hopefully we get more news on that soon. And now yeah. finally, time for some really good news. Invisible dropped their trailer at the Comic Con as well. What do you guys think of that? Uh, I like, I like it. Everybody's smiling. Yeah. <laughs> I, I think it, it just got me excited. For the season to start, I, 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 yeah, I want it now. I want it now. Yeah, it's coming out November this. this year. But it's just going to be four. We're getting just four four episodes in November. Then the other four is next year. Oh what? really? I didn't know that. Yeah, it's going to be broken <laughs> <Okay>. too. <sighs> okay. 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 Just defeated all our. We'll take it like that. We'll power through it. Yeah. Yeah, so looking for that, uh, that's a TV show to look forward to. Oh, no, actually, every November, I can see what they're doing. That for issues probably take us up to Christmas. Mm-hmm. No, that's what they're releasing it weekly. I know they're dumping it. Well, when is it in November, right? Oh. I think well, it's well, going well, to be, it's gonna they be didn't, weekly. They didn't drop the last one. They didn't, they didn't drop the last time, no. They didn't drop oh, okay. the last time. They didn't drop yeah. the last time. Hopefully, okay. it'll be so episodic. That, that, so that four probably take us just before, to go, just before Christmas, and they'll take yeah. a break. And they'll come back. Yeah, Hopefully in January. Okay, <laughs> I'm optimistic. We yeah. say hopefully in January. What if they come back in February? Let me see. Yes, uh, me see my, I think it was February or something like that. And I've been saving this news for the last because it's the most annoying news I've read. We, I was fully expecting it, but it finally happened. We are having the rise of the powers of X. X Men are returning back to the mansion. Come next year, the end of the Krakoan age. And wait, wait, the end of yeah, wait, wait, because yeah. you, you, I know you are very all doom and gloom. Did they actually say the end of crop the crop one age? Maybe crop oh, one is I there. Guess, they have they have they have a headquarters in the mansion. May I, I mean, yes. how do you know that crop one is, is dead and buried? If it, Kakua is dead and buried. If let's move on from that nonsense universe as of this point in time. Because actually, Marvel confirmed that the current Krakoan era of the X-Men franchise will be coming to an end in 2024. This is actually confirmed at the New York, at the New York Comic Con. This is the beginning of the end of the biggest X-Men saga. So, yes. Okay. Um, I, don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't want to get caught. I hope that Professor Xavier ends up in jail, Jack. <laughs> no, it's did you see the poster? Is uh, is in front of the house of is in front of the new mansion with all the X Men surrounding him. So yeah, well, I did notice that in that picture there was a cocoa gate and there was a lot of the cocoa, you know, vegetation still uh, around. They were sitting on a, like a vegetation couch or something. I I don't know. I, I it just seems to me to be a terrible waste of you know just it's just a waste and it'll it's just taking them back to the beginning again i'm not sure yeah why they I, want to do that i, I know God. why they would want to do that i mean they are getting ready to launch the new x-men movies in the mcu so they would want their comic books to align more closely to how the movies are going to be and to be fair Telling them to sell Kakua on TV as a first school is going to be very difficult. So they might want to go for the most simpler fear, fear for the X-Men. But it doesn't change the fact that I'm going to be, I'm really pissed at this. I've been pissed at this since they started this particular story and it's still vexing me till now that I go in this direction with the X-Men. It's the most, like, 
it's the most reductive thinking I've seen in X Men for a long time. The most annoying read ever. And I think for me, I said this from the beginning that I'm dropping the X Men book after this, and I'm not picking up X Men books again. I'm done. I, I, are you done? I'm you done. done. Yes. You're writing, you're, you're I'm done. <laughs> X Men. If we get out. Mm. Um, yeah, yeah, I'll read it now. I'll figure you back the news. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you know, um, I this this has been a slippery slope since they made Kamala a mutant um, yeah. in the in the series, and and then they followed up by doing it in the comic books. Um, I I don't it, it's I mean like you said the the it's it's reductive. That's that's uh i'm i'm like i'm just absolutely disappointed yeah you know <laughs> at the very least i was hoping that you know you'd keep the atlantic Krakoa island uh i i don't know it's just it's just yeah sorry I, i'm at a loss, <laughs> at a loss. it, it oh, is yeah. the most annoying piece of news today to do continue sorry. <laughs> <laughs> uh, look at look at <laughs> that one just laughing up and down. Uh, uh, I just... <laughs> okay, yeah. what's next? Like, if I was going to do this, I would have said, okay, maybe they kick off the X Men for some. Let let's say the follow up X. Oh, yes. we don't have yes. this faith. We don't have faith in the leadership. yes in the government. And yes, yes. Professor X and his core group of X Men they go back to their mansion. Uh -huh. and yes, Krakoa people they have their own this thing. They become a fixture, yes. a regular fixture of the world. But no, they're. I don't even mind Marvel. if they make Apocalypse the head of the island and kick off the X Men. You know, I don't mind. There's an island, and then they, they, the leader is a bad guy. Fine. <laughs> or, you know, let them be. Like, talk Krakoa into what's this thing called? What's the most recent again? Avalon. Not Genosha. No. Avalon. This, um, what's this? Them. This current fixture or this criminal city? Criminal. Oh. We saw it. Oh, um, the, the Asian one. The one Madripoor. Yeah, Madripoor. Like, yeah. Madripoor is a, is a fictional city that created once, yeah. and it's now a fixture of the universe. Yeah, exactly. Make Krakow something like that, because Ex it's... You got it. Exactly. It's too, it's too big a way to be done. Like, no, they, they really big. messed up with this. Too they big. really messed up. So I'm... Um, like, like uh, okay. this is the most painful thing I've read. Yeah. And, they got, and this guy got my hopes really high, sir. Who did? Hick Hickman, when he said this old thing. Oh yeah, I mean, it was it was a br it's just a brilliant piece of work. It was art. It was poetry. The way he set it all up and brought them all in, yeah. and even made retrospective changes that make sense. Like he he went and he made uh uh more Arabic targets a mutant, and nobody was yeah, like, no fuck this. No. He was like, oh, this makes so much sense. So, I mean. Mm. Uh, Come on, I still remember that issue, the first air fire gala when the when the republic when they uh, changed the entire thing from Mars. That oh, issue yeah. when the, all the parts came together, I'm when like the terraformed Mars. Yeah, when they terraformed yeah. Mars. Yeah. Oh God! <laughs> so, so, but I, um, you, oh, so you're talking about when they stole Mars from humanity? From who? For their own, for their own uses. Yeah, but let me ask. Can I ask you a question? I, 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 no, I, I just, I'm just. What, what was what was humanity doing on Mars or doing with Mars? Saying, Mars was there. It's not, okay, it's, 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 for any, were they using it's, it for anything? It's not. It's, it's not fights now. It's fine. Asking you a question. They they, 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 they just took it and it. They, they took it from who? They took it from who? They were not using it. They didn't own it. Okay. No. Oh. And, 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 and then, then did they not just did they announce themselves as king of the whole solar system? Immediately did that. And oh, that as, was just as, like as, just as, to, as, that was that was to take okay. care of Earth. Now that was they wanted to take care of the solar system. Okay. Moving on swiftly to the Okay, but yeah, like that those moments in comics, I don't think we're going to miss them again very in any time soon. That will, in a way that will fulfill end, because I know next week now someone can say, "Oh, we have a new reality rapper that has changed all the planet systems," <laughs> but it still won't. <laughs> yeah, it still won't feel as end as what Ikman yeah. did because Ikman knew how yeah. to build it up. But yeah. yeah, okay. So yeah, a lot, a 
a very sorrowful loss. Can I say something, Italy. please? Just, just even yes. the beginning where where uh, Xavier takes uh, 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 Doug Ramsey to the island and is like, "Look, yeah. I have a massive project for you. I need you to devise a whole language, a whole new language." And I, and he's that just like, he just says, so "When do I need? When, when can I start?" Start starting now. See you in a few weeks. And it, I'm like, oh my god, that was oh. really good. Like, oh, we are building a new culture. We are so, building a new so, language for our people. So, uh, so, 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 so you you like the idea of creating a fake language to co- to create segregation? But you should not, not how is that creating that? segregation? It's creating culture. Uh, no, it's like fine. language <laughs> is what defines culture. <laughs> okay, it's fine. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> Who are we offending today? That part has been offending everybody that lost X Men, which is racist, it's that top up and down. Ah, uh, man, well, I'm okay. not the one celebrating people stealing planets, people doing segregation. No, let's watch the TV. You're the one, one, uh, uh, yeah, the one celebrating their genocide up and down. Please, let's move mm-hmm. on to TV. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Um, yeah, yeah, let's talk about Loki quickly, Jerry. Uh, what did you guys think of the episode? Do you think they want to try to dismiss the whole episode? <laughs> 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 I mean, what, um, okay, what happened in this, in, in this episode, really? Really, actually, because a lot of it was spent with getting this agent who had become a star. Yeah. Yes. And, it's X yeah. fifteen or something. Yeah. Yes. yes X- and agents yeah. went to go to go and live on the secret timeline to become a movie yes. star. Uh Sylvie decided to stay away but changed her mind to come back. Uh to stop them from destroying all the branching timelines because the branching timelines are destroying reality. And this guy is trying to find a fix for everything. Honestly. So do we still think there's hope for this franchise? Why? Can I be? Can I be I honest mean, with you guys? I like it too. I like it. I like it too. So See, it is I like nonsense. I don't I like care about it. It's nonsense. I don't care about the plot because the plot. I don't want to think about the plot. But the interaction, like I said, for episode one, interaction between Loki, Owen Wilson, and Lee Kuan. What's his name again? Lee Kuan Yew. Obi. Lee Kuan. Yes. Yeah. Yes. yes. And Obi, the relationship between those three, that's gonna be here for every other person what, 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 th- what do you think we're gonna they're doing with the Obi Obi character? It's just there to I don't care, it's just there for yeah, spotting. I, 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 I think, think they're, not gonna tie, they're not gonna tie to any of the mythos. I don't the... see it. No. I know they're tied to be very stupid, but I don't I don't see it. Yeah, I don't see it happening with Mobius. That's just another waste, right? No, it's not a waste, no, it's, it's a spawn character. Waste. That's what the show is yeah. about. It's not about deep law. It's about it, it's about this middle management people running around doing rubbish. But in the law, didn't um, Roberus eat up the um, the term the Yggdrasil, the the world tree? Yeah. What, what, yeah. What no, did the Orobor, Is it the Ouroboros eating itself? Yes, yeah, it's the Ouroboros eating himself. Yeah. But I think it's it it, it, it ate the world tree at some point or destroyed the world. No, tree. that that's that's that that's another look, that's another that's, that's another serpent. That's, yeah. Another, yeah. Yeah, that's, 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 that's the world job, serpent. That's Job Gunda, the world serpent. Yeah. yeah. Okay. 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 Yeah. Okay. Kill me now. Okay. 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 I did not say that. I did not say that. I almost wanted to say. Don't worry, it is a joke. Let's let's we are record. Let me not say anything. But today I was talking about how he's he's there for the relationship between Loki and Loki and Obi. Do do you not find the relationship between him and Sylvia to be the most boring thing on this planet? I don't even know. I don't know. I don't care. Like, I, 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 they don't, there's no chem. There's no chemistry. I don't care what, for. Why are, they pushing, why are they pushing that? Why are they pushing that stuff? Why are they pushing it, that? I, I find. I find. Fine. I, I find them actually annoying when they're together and talking. Yeah. Okay. Mm. I don't know how much. Well, much was her motivations in the last season. And that's yeah. they're eating about doing another workout. I don't understand what she, what's she on the what, What's the point? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I it thought was... I thought we're done with her from past season. I mean, and it was then, good oh, readings, but now uh, it's just a joke. And then now, okay. And then okay, sorry again. Maybe it was me. Maybe I missed this. I I will put my hands up. In the episode before, that lady 
does not put in all the timeline. Where did that come from? She she agreed with them, right? Then she said she wanted to go and yeah. find Sylvie. But... That's what I thought. <laughs> yeah, she no, she agreed with them on that door. Like she it was obvious she didn't really agree with them. She so said, she, Okay, she I've heard you. I'm going to go yes, I'm going to go and do my own. Yeah. Yeah. And she went to go and put all the timelines. I'm like, oh, yeah. well, and all these people that are caring about putting of timelines, I'm like, see, from, from I if I was, yeah, I if I'm understand. there, if I'm at their perspective, I don't think I will care that much about timelines like that. Can I tell because you, I would, it, yeah, I would be devastated. I'll, like, they are all so, they, the, 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 you know, that bit where they are all looking at the timelines disappearing, and I'm like, yeah. this is a bit... Possibilities, it's not... Yeah, it's from, just, uh, from, that I, from that particular, from that particular viewpoint, it's... not like it was supposed to be... Well, that's why they're like, catching variants, working. right? Because variants um, cause new branches. Uh, and... yeah. I'm so, like, so wait... <laughs> so wait, okay, I don't so, okay, one sec, one sec, sorry, sorry. I, I, we all tried to talk here <laughs> with... I, I, I'm very glad, first off, that we all agree on Sylvie because I'm watching yeah. this chick and I'm like, this, 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 it's either this person is a very, very boring actor or this is a <laughs> terrible character. But please fuck off out what of about, here. What, how about both? I, it, yeah, it's I, probably I, both. both. I don't understand the attraction. I don't understand. There's no chemistry. She brings nothing. And I don't understand why Loki is so fixated on finding her. It's yeah. it's she's she's the worst part of this series thus far. Yes. I, I I'm just not understanding at all. <laughs> and in an episode that I thought was pretty decent, I'm like, get rid of this chick, please. Sorry. So yeah. that was just my little. I'm, I'm, I, I'm I, I, not I, I felt on the Sylvie train. As much as I I enjoyed bits of it and like some of the banter, I just thought the whole episode was. A lot of nothing, if I'm being honest. In I mean, the show is a lot of nothing. Yeah, yeah I guess. I guess. Yeah, like, I, I guess. But I kind of preferred it to the first season because the first season felt like it, the first season felt like it was trying to do something big. Yeah. Right? And lost yeah, itself yeah. in these concepts that were like, you know, but well, uh, this one feels very, it feels, honestly, it feels like eating cotton candy. Like it's tasty, <laughs> but it has no weight. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ouroboros is trying to fix the loom, gets there, the password is not working. Okay, what do we need to do? Go here and get this thing. Even the whole torture scene, it's very, it, oh, it's very yeah, yeah, yeah. light, lightweight. Yeah. It's not heavy at all. And I'm like, okay. And Let me focus sure on is... the banter between Mo 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 Mobius and, and, and Loki, where it's like, oh, you know, I, I thought you were following me. No, I'm following you. You know, it, it feels so much better than the first. Ah, that first season was. <laughs> oh. that is the most watched yeah. one. Watch this second season to turn out the same. The same uh, it, no, it, it's, it's going to turn out the lower. same way. It will. No, I, it's turned out the same way because what's this thing called? This is why people watch the first season. We were, like we talked about this in the previous episodes. Yes. We we went in for the first season expecting epic something. Other people went into the series expecting oh banter between Loki and Mobius, and they got Tom, what they were Tom, looking for. Tom Hiddleston. Yeah. yeah. So now that we are all on the same page, now that this show has recognized, okay, this is what we are doing now. We are not looking for any epic. We are not. We are not. We are not defining any epic stuff. We are just doing office banter. They should continue. We are not on the same page. Though. I'm not. I'm not liking it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you're not, not. You're not. You're not liking it thus far. No, I'm not. Until... I'm not understanding this. Even beyond um, Loki's infiltration with Sylvie, why are the store, um, the showrunners or whoever they are going with this Sylvie storyline? Where is it going? I, I think there could be a lot more things they could do. Like somebody who's who's infatuated and in love with himself. Yeah, like other what? variants that they could even find. Yeah, that's what like yeah, like yeah. Uh, this season could be another him and another variant. Yeah. Uh, yeah. This this chick is oh. Blech. Okay. Um, do we want to? Do we want to? Let's get it quickly. Yeah. Uh, honestly, I, I I'm enjoying it. Um, even the first episode, I, I will give this like a a three point four. Enjoying. Oh wow! High yeah. praise. Yes. You're good. That's Sound. a two point five for me. Bang average. That one. And I and I see your point. Two point six. <laughs> <laughs> Just 
not to be the worst. <laughs> just not to be the worst. <laughs> I, 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 I was asking to give 2.5, but when yeah. I said 2.5, okay, let, let me just add one or something. Tunde will drop our average now, watch. <laughs> and, and just to balance everything of 2.4, yeah. let's, just, let, let's just keep it balanced. Yeah. Okay. 2.4. Yeah. So, yes. It, yeah, it's, it's not offensive, but it was, it was not doing a lot. It's not doing a lot. It's not doing a lot. Yeah. yeah. I yeah. I just this guy. Oh, by the way, I, I found that guy annoying. This guy, the, the the agent that became an actor and yeah, it's insuff- 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 insufferable. Yeah, X yeah. X thirty five yeah. or whatever. Yeah, yeah. Yes, yeah. that's the word. He was annoying me <laughs> <laughs> because at first I thought it was mind controlled or maybe forgot yeah, his memories yeah. or something, but that is willingly doing all of these actions. Well, it didn't just work for me, but okay. Yeah. Okay. And and now on to an actually good TV show. Okay. I, I, I have to drop off because I've not seen it. So. Okay. All right. All right. Okay. All right. okay. I'll You're catch right. up next year. Um, next yeah. week. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Right. Right. yeah. Later. Bye. Right. So, yeah. Gen V. Yes. Kex, what did you think of this episode? Did not. It was okay. I. I. I have started to from the last episode. I didn't like the last episode of Gen V at all. Okay. Um, I, I I I I wasn't around, but if I was around, I'll have given it like a two or maybe less. Um, this episode, I've started to see some cracks. Honestly, particularly the acting. I'm like some of these guys. Uh, the the uh, Andre. I like this guy is a very good looking, charismatic actor, but I there are some gaps in his acting. The Jordan as a male isn't as strong as the female. The female actor is acting circles around everybody. The Asian girl is uh, amazing. Yeah. Um, uh, 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 Cricket is a really good actress as well. Cricket is yeah. working out well. But I'm starting to see a lot of Riverdale style. Plus, I don't know. Like, what do you mean? Behavior wise. Like, like. Um, oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like teenage, like I don't know how to. I can't put my finger on it. No, no, like, it's not. It's, it's teenage behavior. Yeah, it's not adult behavior. It's like one minute they they run off and do stuff, you know. And, and there's this there's this bit where the boy Sam is it Sam the one who's schizophrenic? Like, it's just schizophrenic. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah, it's Sam, yeah, yeah. He 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 comes to cricket and he's talking to her and she doesn't remember him. And I'm like, yeah. if you this happens often. If you take four minutes to explain to this person, yeah, yeah. we would have to go through some shit that's going to happen soon. Just say, oh, let me explain. You and I met. Yeah. I know you're this. I know you're that. You saved me. You can become small. Blah, blah, blah. This is your favorite song. We met here. That will make the person be like, oh, I've been mind fucked. You know, yeah. it, it, it happens. And even Andre, they're talking at one point, And then the next week, they're like, where's Andre? He stormed off. To go kill the guy he thinks wiped their memory, the psychic guy. You know, I don't know, guys. It's just not as strong as Gen V, and that's not a fault of it of its own. But of the boys, man. of the boys. Sorry, of the boys. Yeah. But I'm, I'm, I'm. You know that whole tech night, la- tech nights last, <laughs> tech nights last week. Ah, oh, my God. Ah. <laughs> oh. They've that's like the jobbing of what could have been a very good character. Oh, yeah, I agree. Yeah, you know, that a really good, yeah, yeah, a really good, really good yeah. standing character, like over the course of the series. I think that was, and, yeah, I think we all agreed on that. That we all, we all did like how in the end he just turned out to be this idiot that a, could be a whole yeah. fucker, like he can't say yeah. a whole big <laughs> space, like he, 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 like he has to enter it. Ah, uh-uh, like come on, you know, he just went from something serious and really cool to. <laughs> Yeah. Just that whole, in a bit to and, be humorous, I think they might be overdoing it a little bit. Sorry, today. Yeah. yeah. No, yeah, I think, uh, t- speaking on tech, I think that's what is missing in this particular episode. The mm. stakes of fear he brought in the earlier episode of last week. If it was still overing around, if the fear of tech that was still exactly. in this episode. Like a specter. I, yeah. Yeah, it would have made it a lot more interesting to watch. But but right now, they're just going about doing things from one, from one lens to the other. And like you mentioned, Proper communication will solve half, half of their issues, and it's so the conflict there just feels contrived. Uh, and, thank you. 
Yeah, so everything that was happening first contract, even up until the girl revealing that, oh, wait, I'm done that mind fuck to you. You've been right, mind so, from the beginning. So that, that First, bit, yes. so that, to me, that, that was my biggest issue with this episode. I actually like yes. I, to me, I enjoyed this episode. That's why I know there were certain flaws. I, still, I, I, I enjoyed the character of Cricket. I enjoyed the character of um, Jordan or... I can I never get a name right. The girl. Is Jordan, yeah, let's call is, I think they're both Jordan, it, I think. Are they? Not, it's okay. a unisex name, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, yeah, okay. So, I obviously enjoyed it, but there was a lot of elements of teenage storyline plotting. Oh, we're going to say something, and the next step of you asking more questions is not going to be, it's not going to be there. Uh, um, I'm just going to walk away. <laughs> you know, <laughs> you know. At, at one point, you guys have realised there's something wrong with your memories. And to me, it's, the fact that you're in a school full of people with hard people, these Where there's a course it's called Psychic so 101. Yeah, yeah. There's actually a class for psychics yeah. in the school. Yeah, so if this was like me in real life, where I'm, aware, where I'm not aware that people have this kind of power, I can, I can almost explain away my lack of thinking of, oh, what's happening to me because it's impossible in my mind. You live in that universe where you know it's very possible. You see it happen. Somebody's done it to, somebody did it to you before. Yeah, you're not taking the right steps. Somebody's talking to you, and you're just looking at, oh, I don't know you. Fuck off. Hang on, this guy just came up for random and called your names. So th- there's a lot of that. But so, when you know, I still enjoyed it. I still enjoyed the episode. <laughs> I still enjoyed it a lot. Um, I, I think I'm, I'm just vibe. I, I guess I, I, if, if you pin me down to why they enjoy it, I'm not just like the characters. I, mean, I, I like cricket. I like, um, as you said, Jordan. I like, I like, um, I want to call her Martha. She's not Martha, is she? Marie. Marie. Yes, what, Marie. <laughs> yeah. I like Marie. I did think Andre was acting the worst of them all. Like, yeah. yeah. He, suddenly, he, he's gone from a guy who's more chill to a hothead. You know, whatever. Hang on, you, you, that's not your character. Now, this hand touching girl who t- touches your, you know, mm. I don't like this. Because that means she's been under the influence of the dean way, way, way before, not just Today. now. Today. What? Remember yeah. when we first the first three episodes? I do that more than I remember because I doesn't remember what happened last week. Okay. Wait, we I said, said one, one of betray, them will be the them. And we said it was going to be her. It is teenage yeah, right. But, but then <laughs> why is but why is she then also acting and helping them when they did that break into the lab? That so, make no sense to me. That's the yeah, that's the that's the issue I had with them. If she was going to betray them and she had been in on it from the very beginning, because yes. it's not just now she's controlling them, she had been yeah. controlling her boyfriend yes. since years before. Her revealing that control now at this particular point makes no sense. And yeah, and that thing making the mind control person the traitor. I mean, it happened so many times. I'm tired of that truth. It's always the mind person that mind control person that's always the traitor. Get to it. Well, yeah. you can see why. Because if I wanted to somebody who could control you, I would want to use the mind because that's that's the best one of the best powers to be able yeah. to do that. So I can see why, but I don't like the fact that there's certain actions that don't, now don't make any sense to me. Uh, so actually, she, she, I think she did in episode two, especially that whole that whole jailbreak where she tried to help him and took those get make no sense to yeah. me. So I, 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 because I, 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 I want to understand it. You know, you know when you start trying to remember what happened before. I think, it, but you did this. Mm-mm, it doesn't yeah. make sense. Because yeah. <laughs> initially, I felt the dean had just recently recruited her. You know, but then she said, "Oh no, I've been doing it since. I've been wiping the golden boy's memory from day one." I have her. I like it now. What is this now? <laughs> yeah. 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 It, 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 it... Yeah, I mean, I don't even want to go into the... I mean, it's it's obviously she did it, but it's just wondering about the particulars of how she's doing it as well. Yeah. So there is there's Cricket, Andre, her, uh, and Sam, yeah. right? At the yeah, house yeah. when yeah. they go stop Sam from killing um, Cardoza or whatever the doctor's name is. Yeah. And then yeah, they yeah, all yeah. just kind of blank. And Jordan, sorry. And they all just kind of blank. So I'm assuming... Yeah. At some point, she must have touched all of them. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Because her power works on touch, right? Yeah, no, yeah. no field of influence. Nope. So touch. she'll have had to touch them and say, okay, you wait here. 
Yeah. They go and touch it up. I say, you wait here. You know, do, do you understand what I'm saying? Yeah. Well, and there she did. Exactly. And then she did touch beside Georgia. each other. Yeah. yeah. So, oh, no. no she, 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 probably, she, probably walk, she probably walks around that party doing it one by one. Oh, they went to a party afterwards. No, no, no. But so, why did so, they go to a party? I mean, before they went to the party, right? Yeah. They were at the house of the scientist. Yeah. Where cricket yeah. was big and was pinning down Sam. Ah, right. You know, you know, good question, actually. Sorry. Yes. Now, that, now, now that you said that, it, it makes sense. When they started this episode, yeah, it was almost as if that scene in the pool. But no, I remember it wasn't a pool. I just assumed that scene, that location. Now you remind that location seemed to be the same a different location. location. Yeah, but yeah, you're right. It's, it's totally different. So yeah. somewhere in between, so you must have touched it one by one. Okay. And then the, and and the mummy came. But to us, since the mummy came to them at the party. She must have done it at the party. But how, so, how did just... they, so how did they resolve pit, from pinning down Sam, cricket pinning down Sam and... Well, no, no, no. Yeah, that, that, that and happened, then they all blacked anyway. out. Okay. That, okay. Oh, sorry. Yeah, you're right. That, 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 let's assume that happened off screen. Whatever they did okay. off screen, that happened. And yeah. then she so, waited... To, to, so maybe they were really late. The okay. So that she can, she, can, she, she can blame it on drugs. Okay. Well, they don't remember. Okay. And she started touching them one by okay. one. Uh, okay. But I, I want to make point. I love the scenes of of giant crickets. I, I, I think this is the, almost my favorite. You said it. You said it last oh. week. I heard you when you said it last yeah. week. You saying it again? What did you like about I, it? Exactly. Tell us exactly no, what you like about it. Calm down, listen. Calm down, my guy. Okay. Calm down. Go ahead. I like. I like. I, I just like the. So yes. party in giant size, yeah. In the party, yeah. In her, in her birthday suit. <laughs> you know, the, the scene was, was great. I like which was laid down in, 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 we in, get in to the it. pool. Full okay. No, it, it, okay. it, it, it's one of the few scenes we have I've seen in giant person <laughs> that I will be quite young. You, 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 <laughs> 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 oh, 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 so okay. what's what, what that Jordan and Marie made out or the episode before? Or this episode or the one before? The one before. Oh, it was the one, it was, it was the one before. The one, okay, before, yeah. Okay, okay. <sighs> but overall, so right, and even then, yeah, Marie's storyline where she's suspecting the dean because she saw the dean talking to a student. And then she goes, Oh, because she's talking to this student, she actually must be a bad guy. <laughs> I'm like, well, well, I think she doesn't no, trust no. inherently yeah, doesn't yeah, exactly, trust uh, exactly. the dean. The dean is trying to be paddy paddy too yeah. much, and she's like, yeah, mm, yeah but like, and, and, and she's talking to the one person he she knows her white memories. So okay, I, mean, I, I guess I can see why like, she would jump. No, so there are so many for me. Maybe it's, okay, maybe because she's a teenager. That's all. Like there are so many things that would come to my mind before. Oh, there are a lot of psychics in this school. No, you have just been, you have just been, what is happening to you has literally just been done to you a day before by that, again. that, that guy. Of course, I'll, I'll, okay. I'll, I'll, I'll think that straight away now. Okay, I'll, I'll, maybe. I'll yeah, yeah, she doesn't, she doesn't trust the dude. Yeah. Okay. I think, I think she even said it. Yeah. Yeah, no, yeah. yeah after she said it, she said, I don't trust yeah. her, yeah. Okay, no problem. Well, we'll go on with the show. Like, Chuck said the quality of the show has tipped a bit for me with this episode. Yeah, so, I so, still so, love yeah. the characters. I still love it, but like on a plotting level, the way the story yes. is unraveling, so, okay. it's not so working that, for me. So, so that, that's my point now. Plot wise, it, they seem to be all over the shop now. Plot wise, yeah. you know what? What is the end game here now? Um, Sam, Sam is with well, I guess back with cricket again now. I just thought, so what are you trying to do now? Are you, are you trying to expose them? Are you trying to? What is your game plan? And I got yeah. no clear, clarity of what they're trying to achieve anymore. Yeah, now exactly, we don't have a yeah. goal. The yeah. first three episodes, we had clear goals for the characters. Yeah. Marie was trying to stay in school. Um, yeah. Golden Boy was trying to figure out shit out. Uh, the guys were trying to figure out what happened to Golden Boy. Yeah. The last one we had, oh, we are trying to find out. We have to fight Sam now. Yeah. Everybody's off on their own. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. we don't really care. So, yeah. So, it is. W one thing. So, the doctor, 
the Cardosa or whatever his yep. name is. Yep. He now wants to get Marie, right? Because he thinks her blood powers would be more suitable for whatever it is that he's trying to build. He's yeah, trying yeah. To build yeah, yeah. That's quite I find that interesting. What what is what that means she's obviously more powerful than obviously. You think? Yeah. Be because even the Dean Messer, she has a powerful benefactor. We don't know who that is. Who is oh, sponsoring yeah, Mary in this school? That's true. That's true. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So uh, and her powers mm -hmm. are supposed to be extremely rare. So it's probably not just blood. It might be something. So, so this so so this was fake thing. When she said that my brain went to overdrive, what is it? What is the natural extension of this power? And I just think maybe she can she can just control all organic matter. Mm. Like you're saying, like trees, trees, so human beings, like yeah, that's I mean, yeah, yeah, that isn't that blood bending. That's what we talked about the first episode that's, that oh, we no, 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 discussed no. it. Uh, yeah, blood bending, but actually then controlling you, your, 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 sorry, your flesh. Sorry, your I, I, I don't know if you ever saw the Avatar. That's what it is, like making you do stuff, puppeteering you, right? Oh, is that what you're oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Yeah, that, that's what I'm trying to talk about. Yes, yeah, yeah, that's, yeah. That, that's, that's, what blood bending. that's what blood bending is. So what show is this? Avatar. The, the, yes, the Avatar, the last ever. Yeah, yeah, yes, yeah, yes. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. So, okay. if I, but I think it, it might be more than blood bending, but we'll see. It, it, I'm sure there are many applications of for what yeah. she does. I mean, she we saw her <sighs> cock explosion. Cock explosion. Which <laughs> was it? That... All right. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Okay, uh, question. And yeah. I, I don't know yeah. if anybody was thinking about this. Why is this guy okay. with a, a, an exploded cock still walking around the school? Running around. Running around. Heal. I'm assuming healers. I'm assuming there are people that can heal things. So, so, it's cock, so his cock is back. Is that what you're saying? Yes, I, I'm assuming it's back. Otherwise, it doesn't make any sense. Okay. Because I was thinking, ah, okay, shouldn't you be like crying? It should be dead. Yeah. Somewhere yeah. now. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I'm assuming it's a magical okay. school, they have accidents, okay. they have okay. people on staff to feel. Yeah, okay, I, okay. They could have feelings. Okay, that's that's not yes. that's not unreasonable. All right. Yeah. So do you guys anything else that you guys want to say about this episode? No, no, no. I mean we spent too much time on other okay. stuff. <laughs> okay. All right. <laughs> yeah. Um so, Richard. I'm gonna give this I'm gonna be very generous, a three point two. Mm. Kicks. It's difficult for me because I, I I want to give it a score, but I'm wondering if I'm being too harsh on it. <laughs> um, but at the same time, is it because of my expectation? You know what? I'm going to shut up and give it a two point seven. That's how I feel. Two point seven. Yeah. Okay, that's not too bad. Yeah, I'll give I mean, it three. It's, it's, it was still enjoyable, but I, yeah. I'm just like, ah, oh, there are some things that. I'm... Yeah. Okay. Okay. I'll give it a three. Is it points drop six over ten for me? But what Bank, would you like yes. I my brother thinks this is the best show ever. I mean this year. <laughs> and and, and he's, he's, he's running around saying that nonsense the boys, this is how it should be done. And oh wow. I, yes, he prefers just, this to the yes. boys. Oh yeah, interesting. So oh, wow. I can't I can't, you know, sometimes you can't with something cool. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So that's, that's interesting. It's, okay. Yeah. I mean, it's, okay. I'm trying to see the argument for that, and I'm fine. I'm struggling. I know yeah. there are some parts of the boys I didn't like, but this show is not. This show is not up there. Maybe the yeah. earlier episodes I would have compared yeah. it to the boys, but this last two. Mm. Yeah, no, no, it's no, it's not. No. Okay. Uh, right. So, but else? also, yes. I just remember, but I like these characters more than I like the boys. The ones I like here, I like them more than I. I like any of the boys. I like Jordan. No. I like cricket more than anybody in the boys. Uh, okay. I mean that those are very good characters, and I love those characters I mentioned, particularly Jordan. But I love yeah. MM and Frenchie a lot. I like MM mm. and Frenchie yeah. a lot. Oh, sorry. So uh, yeah, I like I, I like um, I like Kimiko a lot. Uh, I, 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 I prefer cricket. I know I like Kimiko. I mean, <laughs> I mean, I mean he doesn't even try to hide it again. <laughs> <laughs> you guys, you guys, man. <laughs> I, 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 I give up. Harem <laughs> <Thank> you. <laughs> yeah. okay. okay. Cool. So, do we round this up? 
Yes, 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 yes. So, guys, say your goodbyes, <laughs> everybody. And, you know, it's a full docket today. We can kind of zoom through things. Yeah, really. thank you, thank you yeah. so much for staying with us, joining us, staying with us. Uh, what episode number is this? One five four. One. Okay, Jesus. Okay. okay. If it's a one five four, one five four. Remember to rate, like, subscribe, uh, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook. Uh, join us next week. Thank you very much today. Yeah, sayonara, guys. Next week. And thanks for going listening. And it's a goodbye from me. And see you later.